we're back with the second half. 7-14, and we start off with Seahawks uh, with their third possession. <coughs> so kickoff is to the Seahawks. But if you notice, he, um, uh, the kicking team hit the man on the five, the return man, and that's an automatic illegal contact. So first down at the 50 is the penalty. And Seahawks go right to work. Carlin was trying to open up his passing game. Uh, that that's really what he's good at. He, his accuracy is deadly when he's passing, and I think maybe um, he was trying to incorporate the run. Um, should have just stuck with what uh, he does well. So, opens up the second half, third possession with a pass, gets his man downfield. Peter's trying to take away the lanes on the right side of the line. And so Carlin goes for the far side, but his pass is short. Incomplete pass, second down. He abandons the run, uh, the pass too quickly, goes back to the run on second down. <clears throat> He's trying to perfect this uh, lead block play. Uh, he had run it several times before when we were playing... Um, some uh, scrimmage games, and he, he did really well with it. So here he's trying to set that up again. But he has a new wrinkle. He actually blows a hole through the center of the defensive line. So now, you know, Peter had to think about, is he going to try and get around the corner, or is he going to just run it straight up the middle? <coughs> Adrian had seen this before, and so Adrian knows, like, in, in a case like this, if I was playing... I'd um, hit one helmet to try and hit two helmets to block the lane at the same time. So um, I think that's the same advice Adrian gave Peter. Peter executed really well. Uh, blocked that that uh, hole up the center. And so uh, it's it a really nice execution. It's good to see Adrian picking things up defensively from playing with me or against me. Uh, Carlin, always an innovator, he, he's, rather than just trying to get as much yardage as he can, he's trying to um, play a cat and mouse game here. It's always good to get someone who's, who uh, is an innovator, or at least doesn't play how you expect. But uh, here he's, uh, Pete's pretty well spread out, he's got his defense spread out. And on a run play, you can only do so much. I'm not sure how Carlin thought he was going to get around the corner. He ends up trying to uh, traverse the field. Again, like I was saying, he, he's, he's a pure passer. He, that's, that's his strength, and I, I was hoping to see him do that. Instead, he's trying to get across the field. Instead, Peter uh, has a straight shot. Um, you can't pass the defensive or the offensive line, right, when you're covering but once a run play uh, starts, you can. So again, go to third down. Carlin finally decides to go back to the pass, gets a man downfield. And again, there's a tutorial I made recently about how to cover that and, and why you choose to throw uh, deep, put a man deep in the center of the field. This gives you, uh, always gives you two lanes, two passing lanes. <clears throat> Carlin sends his second man deep as well. You know, like I said, that's his strength, and here he's attacking the defense on third down. Peter leaves a little bit of a gap there. Um, Angle-wise on the right-hand side. And there it is. There's that that's passing skill that I was talking about. He connects a long pass. Uh, tumble rule. So... Get to reset the player, and from there it's pretty simple walk-in. Touchdown Seahawks. So uh, finally, when Carlin went back to the, to his pass passing game, he he scored without without any problem. <clears throat> he decides that he wants to go for a two-point conversion to get up on on Peter. Um, 
you know, this is it almost makes you kind of wonder if this is uh, if this is a smart play. Why doesn't he just kick um, a field goal and you know um, he'll he'll see if this comes back to haunt him. He might be up by one or he might be down by one. I always go with the sure bet, the the field goal, uh, the extra point. Uh, and right here he's looking okay. He he's got one angle, but. And um, here he's going to go for the men back of the end zone. No interception, but he ma knocks the man out of the end zone. And therefore, it is not a two-point conversion. So, backfired 13-14. Going into the Patriots' third possession. <clears throat> Each team gets four possessions. So here's the ensuing kickoff. Sorry for the cold, clearing my throat a couple few times. Louis tumbles one. And Peter is basically deferring on all the on all his turns. So Louis continues to send men down. What he's doing now, because uh, Peter is running running back so many kickoffs. You see the smart kind of conservative play on kickoffs where you leave men um, further down on your side of the field, but at least there's not going to be a huge run back. And so he's able to stop uh, Peter from running it back. <clears throat> <clears throat> so first down, Adrian finally gets his uh, chance to uh, play offense. And that's how you do it on when you're playing teams, one person plays offense, one person plays defense. And then technically they should have a special teams person, but uh, they split the duties. And Adrian's trying to run around. Well, right now, only because I played him, what he's trying to do is bait, make it look like he's going to run right. But I have a feeling he's going to run left. Uh, Louis knows that too, so they block off that left side. Really, there's, there's only so much that Adrian can do from this, this point. And he chooses to run right. And then he chooses to run left and gets a horrible run. <coughs> horrible. So it brings up second down. Adrian goes into pass mode. Louis is playing man, man to man. Pretty tight coverage, that's nice. I don't know why Adrian wasn't stretching the field. He really should have. Um, you can see Lou's defense very, very conservative. He's playing behind, making sure there's no yards after the catch. Or you know, once he hits that short man, that that receiver doesn't go for any additional yardage. <coughs> nice, nice defense. Third down. I don't know what happened to it. I guess I turned it off the camera and didn't get it back on in time. So this brings up fourth down. Uh, Adrian decides to go for it. Lou is <coughs> playing good man. That that man to man coverage uh, is going to be hard. No angles, really, with that type of man coverage. Adrian goes cross field. And I think what Louis was trying to do was block that cross field passing lane, making it a little bit difficult for Adrian. Still, I think he could have uh, had that passing lane if he rolled left, but maybe not. So he's going to try and go for it. Has to. It's fourth down. <clears throat> Chooses to go for the long angle cross field and gets an interception at the line and is immediately down. So that offensive play, third possession for the Patriots, ends up with zero points. And now it's the fourth possession, final possession for Carlin. Remember, he's down by one, so he must score. He has to score something. Uh, if not a touchdown, he needs a field goal. If he doesn't score here, the game's over because he's down by one point, and this is his final possession. So a lot of pressure uh, on this drive. <clears throat> and and again, not I can't 
couldn't answer why Carlin chose to run. Uh, if you just think back to his, his his third possession, he scored passing, but he's running. And he's able to rip off a pretty decent run down to the 20, brings up second down. I think uh, he decides to go back to the pass, pass offense, passing attack here. <coughs> He's just playing typical defense, playing at the line, trying to block those uh, passing lanes at the line. Now, this is kind of interesting. Uh, this is something that's going to have to be reviewed by the competition committee. On a pass play, normally you send out, you know, you have two moves and you send out two passers. Here, <clears throat> he sent out one receiver, I mean two receivers. He sent out one receiver, but with a second move, he, he blocked. And the the end what ended up happening is he ended up hitting a man on the line, so um, there was no reception. But uh, the rules are that you have to send out two receivers. So we're going to decide whether or not that's something you can do on a pass play, one receiver and one block. So that's going to be permissible. Anyways, <coughs> brings up third down. He has to score. He has to score. Down by one point. Okay. Hands off the table, bud. <coughs> and that first helmet was a was a tumble. So that really puts the pressure on him. Now he has to think, where can he pass? Um, do or die. One receiver left. And I think the pressure gets to him. Okay. No eligible receivers. Brings up a fourth down. So now here's the pressure to make it. He has to make it or he loses. And he makes it. They go up. 16-14, uh, the first time Seahawks have the lead in the game. So now this is going to be the Patriots' uh, final possession. <coughs> and really, all that's needed is a field goal to win. <laughs> Peter continues to decline. He says that's oh, how no. he there he goes. He's, he's uh, using at least one of his players. I suck this round because I haven't got any time on the field. I know. He sends down hard. his final two men. It's very hard for me to spend zero time. Lou's trying to play conservative. That, that's to his credit. He doesn't want to run back. But uh, Pete was on fire. No tumbles. And he has some clear green field ahead. Just a tremendous run down to the 30. Missed tackle. Missed tackle. And Peter was on fire right in. Didn't go over. Right there. Touchdown. Ends the game. Um, here's Louie. He did that in the playoffs too, I believe. So, I don't know, Louie. Um, pressure's getting to you there, bud. So it was a great game. Uh, Carlin wasn't able to have his high-powered offense. Final score, Pats 21, Seahawks 16. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate you uh, answering a few questions, Carlin. Uh, my question is, having uh, seen you play and having played against you quite, quite often, yeah. Is you abandoned the pass, and that that's your that's your strength. You want to tell us? I mean, what was your thinking? Well, uh, in preparation for this, I I knew that my run game was kind of weak, so I was trying to strengthen it in prep, and so I focused a lot on my runs. And uh, when I brought it into here, the added pressure wasn't a factor when I was practicing before, and it, it threw it threw me out of whack. So. Do you, did you feel really confident with the run game? Because you had several good plays. Um, there were some strategies I was working on that I don't think many people have seen quite yet. And uh, those brand new ones, when they first came out, it, it I think it was we were able to do what we needed to do and kind of bewilder a little bit. But uh, 
it was good D. There was no getting past that. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we know that this is your first time playing for uh, a televised game. Uh, and now with this experience of the pressure and how it is playing on a team, uh, do you think it's something you'd be interested in continue doing? Oh, for sure, definitely. This is, uh, if anything, it sparks a, a serious competitive uh, need to want to play with some more. Uh, I'm already, as soon as it ended, it may have looked like maybe a disappointment, but it's already going over your head. Okay, the next time we play this, I'm doing so many things differently, and I'm going to fix my game. Do you think the thrill and uh, competitiveness of the game adds to, I want to play this, this is fun? Oh, for sure, definitely. Um, it's, it's a whole, I've never actually played with a team before either. It's always been myself. So when relying on a whole other team member, it is, it's, it's a thrill because you, you see them and when they start to do awesome, you're like, oh, that's, that's great. And when they go down, you're, you're riding the roller coaster with your team because you both make mistakes so you have strong suits and it's it it makes a whole game pretty fun i i, I have to give you props um one thing i've seen with your own place are, are that they are innovative that there's no doubt do you think from now on though that innovation will be during the regular season oh, as yeah. opposed to <laughs> definitely yes there's a I, prize I, on the line i mean uh because you, you're I, innovative I mean, yes i i i was trying to like i said i was trying to throw something out. I knew I was playing against people who have played a little bit more than I had and so I was worried that if I didn't try something new then they were going to get all of my plays but it, it it worked in some cases but in most cases I should have just relied on my, my natural strength and, and went for my accuracy. A couple more guys. Do you think the prize, it, the prize added on extra pressure? I, I actually, you get into the game so much you forget about the prize almost. It's the pressure of just winning the game. It's, it's not even about what's offered afterwards. It, it, I was talking to actually my <coughs> opponent Peter and he was saying, you know, oh man, the prize. And I was like, ah, oh, I totally forgot that was even there. It, it's all about the game once you're in it. Okay, uh, we know that you haven't played with a team really before. Uh, you played by yourself mostly. Is it something that, that you really enjoyed or would you keep doing it as a team? Yeah, I, I think I like I like the variety of both. That's the best part about this game is you could do it any way you want to. Once you're 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 playing, however, it makes it fun when you have a multiple multiple people to play as a team because then you've got not just the pressure to do good for yourself, but you got the pressure to do good for your teammate or vice versa. Your teammates got the pressure to do good for you, and uh, it makes it makes it a lot of fun. Okay, guys, so th uh, one more, one more. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, coach. Yeah. It's a hard question to ask. You last lost miss at tackle. How does that happen? Uh, I don't know. I thought I had him in just coincidence. I would bring it up to coincidence. Yes. Do you think the coincidence uh, included popcorn? No, I don't think so. I don't think it included popcorn at all. If it was popcorn, then we still have no excuse. Yes. Do you feel uh, that there's any pressure on you after that first interception? Did that first interception basically throw off your team, and you guys couldn't recover? You think defensively? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. We uh, we saw it as okay. We made a mistake. We gotta come back and bring. We gotta come back. That's it. Any other questions? Yes. Do you think your teammate is very disappointed in you, or do you think he has his fair share of mistakes? Well, we, we both did a lot of mistakes, but I, I do believe he was disappointed in me because that responsibility was on my shoulders for the defensive coordinating. Great. Thanks, guys. I <laughs> know <laughs> it's not even. <laughs> We wanted to ask, how do you decide who's going to play offense and defense, since you're, you're both playing for uh, uh, Richard? Well, I, I tried to be as unselfish as possible, and I just asked my teammate what he wanted to do, and I said I would take whatever he chose not to. So, um, in the long run, in the long run, 
Do you think next time you will play offense? You know what? Like I said, I try to be as selfish as possible, and if my partner wants to play offense, I'll let him play offense. Yes. Uh, you, your your defense and special teams was outstanding. What um, what did you have in mind when you were playing defense to try and shut down the high powered uh, finger helmet football of, of Carlin Taylor? Well, as you know, I'm, I'm a coach, and when you coach, you have to be strategic and you have to wait to see what happens as it develops, and then just go from there. Any other questions? Yes. How did you? What was your mentality coming into the game? My mentality was the exact same thing as it always is. I'm just here to play and have fun. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so everyone pretty much knows you're actually a Niners fan. How did it feel playing for the, um, okay, you're playing for the Patriots yeah. today. Uh, how did you feel Sorry. not really being needed? Well, like uh, my opponent said, it's good when <laughs> it's good when uh, your teammate doesn't really need you because he's so good. Because you know you're obviously gonna win. But then when I was in, I did horrible because I hadn't been on the field at all. So I need that warm up, but I didn't get it. So he basically drove us through. He was he led us to the way to the win. Yes. So are you saying that you came in? Not being needed, after the feeling not being needed, too relaxed? Um, not necessarily. I think it was also the, I think it was actually the opposite. I think it was because I was stressed, I'm like, oh, okay, I don't want to mess this up. He's already done pretty well. That just let me down. Didn't really help me. Any other questions? Did no? you feel extra pressure in this game? Uh, because there's actual, there's actual an actual prize. Uh, yes and no. Yes, uh, because wait. Oh. Sorry. Uh, yes, because I didn't want to mess it up for my friend, for my teammate, and I wanted to honor Peter Diamond Richard, and I didn't really want to mess it up. But at the same time, I got to relax half of the game because I wasn't needed. So. So that means uh, you, you, and uh, Peter at the top of the list of uh, players. That is correct. Any other questions? Yeah. I saw you coordinating with your defensive coordinator quite a bit. Do you think you might have uh, played a big role in uh, this win? Uh, only Even in certain the sidelines. Only in certain plays. In some plays, when he was kind of like, "Okay, what should I do? Should I do this? Should I do that?" And I'm like, "Whoa, wait, 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 let me show you. I played this guy before." I know his strategy, and then I would tell him, okay, try and do this, and then see how that works. So on some plays it would affect it, others I would just be completely wrong. Okay, thanks guys.